dear students now we are going to solve important problem in antenna look angles let's start with the basics of antenna look angles the look angles for the ground station antenna are azimuth angle and elevation angle so these two angles are very important for ground station antenna to point towards the satellite okay so here we can consider three important parameters the first one is lambda e so that is earth station latitude its value is positive for latitude north its value is negative for latitude south the next one is phi e that is earth station longitude so its value is positive for longitude east and its value is negative for longitude west okay so the third one is phi s s that means satellite longitude that is longitude of the sub satellite point okay here s s means sub satellite point so this is the general diagram for this antenna look angle here we can consider the earth station the satellite and the sub satellite point sub satellite means the correct projection of the satellite on the surface of the earth okay next the important formulas used in look angles calculation the first one is capital b that is the difference between the longitude of earth station and sub satellite point so b is equal to phi e minus phi s that is the first point so next small b so small b is equal to arc cos of cos b cos lambda e so here arc cos can be written as inverse of cos okay so arc cos means what inverse of cos value okay so this b represents the angle between the radius of earth station and the radius to the sub satellite point so by using this capital b and small b we can find out the value capital e so this angle is very important from that we can find out the azimuth angle so next conditions for azimuth angle from this a we can find out the azimuth angle using different formulas based on certain conditions based on the values of lambda e and b we can use this formulas so if lambda e and b both are less than 0 we can take this capital a as the azimuth angle if lambda e is less than 0 b is greater than 0 then we can use the formula 360 degree minus a if your lambda e is greater than 0 b is less than 0 the formula is 180 degree minus a if both the angles are greater than 0 we can use 180 degree plus a you will understand this one so this four conditions are very important to find out the azimuth angle okay so next one is the range okay so here the formula is d is equal to square root of capital r square plus a g s o square minus 2 r a g s o cos b so here r is nothing but the mean radius of the earth its value is 6371 km the next one is a g s o that is the mean radius of the geosynchronous satellite or orbit okay so geosynchronous orbit radius is 42164 km these two values are important you have to remember this two okay so the last one is elevation angle here the formula is r cos of a g s o by d sin b so we can use the mean radius of the geosynchronous orbit and the range and here the small b to find out the elevation angle okay let's solve one important problem here a geostationary satellite is located at 90 degree west calculate the antenna look angles for an earth station antenna at latitude 35 degree north and longitude 100 degree west so in the solution part first we are going to write the given data so what is the first data the satellite is located at 90 degree west so here satellite means it is the sub satellite point east and west represents the longitude so here we can mention the value as phi s s that is the longitude of 
sub satellite point since it is located at west we can write its value in negative so minus 90 degree so the next one is latitude of the earth station so latitude of earth station is represented as lambda e that is equal to here it is in north position so we can take it as a positive value plus 35 degree so the third one is longitude of earth station so here it is represented as phi e here it is positioned in the west direction so it can be represented in negative symbol so phi e is equal to minus 100 degree okay so and also we have to assume the mean radius of the earth as 6371 kilometer the mean radius of the geostationary orbit is 42164 kilometer okay so we are going to use the formulas to get the values of azimuth angle and elevation angle so what is the first formula capital b is equal to phi e minus phi ss simply we have to substitute those values here minus 100 degree minus of minus 90 degree the answer is minus 10 degree that is the value of capital b so the next formula is small b that is equal to r cos of cos b cos lambda e simply we have to substitute the value of this b and lambda e here so r cos of cos of minus 10 degree multiplied with cos 35 degree so cos of minus 10 degree is nothing but 0.9848 cos 35 is 0.8191 so then we have to get the value as 0.8067 r cos means cos inverse value so then we have to take cos inverse of 0.8067 is nothing but 36.23 so here b is equal to 36.23 degree okay next we are going to find out the azimuth angle for that we can use the formula a is equal to arc sine of sine modulus b by sine small b so as we all know that b value is equal to minus 10 degree in this problem so here we have to take only modulus of b so modulus of b is equal to it takes only the magnitude 10 degree okay so then we have to substitute the values of capital B and small b in this formula so arc sine of sine 10 degree by sine 36.23 degree so here the value is sine inverse of 0.2939 then we can get the value as 17.09 degree it can be approximated as 17.1 degree so this is the value of capital A so here we have to check one important condition for azimuth angle. So in the problem the lambda E is equal to 35 degree which is greater than 0 and B is equal to minus 10 degree which is less than 0. So here lambda E is greater than 0, B is less than 0. Then we can use the formula A is at is equal to 180 degree minus capital A. So here A is at is equal to 180 degree minus 17.1 degree then we can get the answer as 162.9 degree as azimuth angle. Do you all understand this concept? So next we are going to find out the range. Okay. Here the formula is D is equal to square root of R squared plus A G S 4 squared minus 2 R A G S 4 into cos B. So we are going to simply substitute the values of capital R A G S 4 and then small b value. Then we can get square root of 6371 the whole square plus 42164 square minus 2 into 6371 into 42164 into cos b value is 36.23 degree okay so then we can solve this one to get the value of the range d okay so by using the calculator we can get the value of d as 37,215 then the range value as 37,215 kilometer so next we are going to find out the elevation angle its formula is r cos of a g s o by d sin b simply we are going to substitute the values of a g s o the range value and small b here 
So our cost of AGSO value is forty two thousand one hundred and sixty four divided by thirty seven thousand two hundred and fifty sine B value is thirty six point two three degree. Okay. So then we can get the value as our cost of one point one three three into zero point five nine one. So it can be written as cost inverse of zero point six six nine six. Its value is forty seven point nine six, approximately equal to forty eight degree. So elevation angle is forty eight degree here. Okay. So finally, we can write the look angles for the given earth station antenna are azimuth angle is equal to one hundred and sixty two point nine degree. Elevation angle is forty eight degree. Do you all understand this one? Whenever you are using your calculator, you have to make sure that your mode of operation is always in degree to calculate the arc cos or arc sine values. Okay, so you have to make your mode as degree mode. Okay.